Chester County. Pennsylvania, are you ready to finish this? Are we going to elect Donald J. Trump, the 47th president of the United States, and make America safe again, prosperous again, healthy again, strong again, and yes, great again? Hey, folks, this election shouldn't even be close. Let's do a quick review of the past record of Kamala Harris. She engaged in a cover-up of Joe Biden's mental decline, saying he was sharp as a tack just weeks before forcing him out. She was selected, not elected. During her time in office, we had endless crises, open borders, fentanyl deaths, an energy crisis, putting Venezuela ahead of Pennsylvania, an administration focused on DEI rather than military readiness, and how about public safety and support for our men and women in blue from Kamala? Violent crime is up nearly 25% across 66 major cities. Harris is back defunding the police, ending cash bail, eliminating mandatory sentences, and is strongly supported by the George Soros family. Outside of that, she's just terrific. And let's also talk about her disqualifiers to be president of the United States. She has no intention of securing the border. It will get worse under Kamala. It's a disqualifier. The commander in chief must protect our border. She will destroy the American energy industry with a go green or else ideology. And one of her proudest achievements was using taxpayer money to pay for sex change operations for death row inmates, demented. You said it. And she actually advocates for boys playing in girls sports which will destroy girls' sports. She will stack the Supreme Court with ideological liberal judges. She will eliminate all of the Trump tax cuts and raise taxes, suppressing American manufacturing. And unlike the Trump plan to reduce spending by $2 trillion under Elon Musk's efficiency commission, she's going to increase spending by $2 trillion her first year. Quite disturbing. And to top things off, she inexplicably lied about working at McDonald's, where President Trump, as we saw, did work at McDonald's. <laughs> and, and you know what else? 95% of her ads are lies about Donald Trump's plan, as well as their scare tactics. It's sad, it's pathetic, and it's also sad that far too many Americans are allowing themselves to be conned. And how about this propensity for Democrats to talk about unity, about being unifiers? Well, we heard that from Joe Biden. How'd that work out? He was the divider in chief. So, but as President Trump has said, you can't lead America if you don't love Americans. And we know DJT loves you all. So we've had enough of Kamala. She leaves behind a broken border, broken economy, broken world. But you know what? What Harris broke, Trump will fix. And, and a quick word on this Tim Waltz, VP uh, nominee character. Well, he's, he's much better at loading tampons into boys' bathrooms than he is at loading a shotgun. And speaking of knuckleheads, how about Mark Cuban? I, Something tells me women for Trump are gonna have something to say about that come Tuesday. What do you think? So, the reality is this. We must elect Donald J. Trump if we want secure borders, if we want energy dominance, if we want respect and stability around the world, if we want a renaissance of American manufacturing, if we want free and fair trade agreements, if we want groceries and gasoline to be affordable, if we want to stop inflation, we must vote Trump. And if we want common sense and stop the nonsense of boys playing in girls' sports and drag queen story hours for first graders, we must vote Donald Trump. And if we want our law enforcement to be supported and our military veterans to be respect respected, we must vote for Trump. Folks, let's hear it for our law enforcement. Veterans, would you please stand? Let us honor you. Veterans, please stand. Thank you for your service. Thank you for fighting for our freedom. Thank you. Thank you.
So ladies and gentlemen, we also want a president that has a strict adherence to his oath of office and to the U.S. Constitution and to we the people, we must elect DJT. So we got some good news going for us. Registration's way up, early voting is strong. Latino Americans, African Americans, Amish Americans, Asian Americans, all Americans are feeling it. We are united as one. We are one big, beautiful, huge pile of humanity. What Biden and Harris call trash, President Trump calls treasure. And that's what's going to make America great again. So, my fellow Pennsylvanians, let's finish strong, let's dream big. God bless America, thank you.